Mm hmm. Yawn. It's morning. I guess I'm still a little jet lagged. I feel completely exhausted. But my time in Japan is limited, so I can't stay in bed all day. I've got to get up right away and get ready for another outing. I wonder where they'll take me today. I bet it'll be fun. But first, I better wash my face and wake up. Ah! Huh? Whoops. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. Um. Good, good morning. Are you kidding me? That's what you say, idiot? I, I mean, I, uh, um. Wh what? Would you mind closing the door? Uh, s sorry. <laughs> Uh, that's hilarious. D damn it. I'm such an idiot. I didn't even knock. But, Makato, she's just as stylish as I thought she'd be. Um, I mean, th that's not the time to be thinking about that. I'm sorry. I was just, I was just so tired, I forgot to knock. I wasn't trying to walk in on you on purpose or anything like that. So, I, um, I'm really sorry. So, please. I don't blame you. Huh? There's no lock on the washroom door, so you can help it. Um, please forgive. It was just an accident, right? Of course. If I was doing it on purpose, I wouldn't even... I would've taken a closer... What? Um, nothing. Nothing at all. I wasn't... Um, yeah. It was just an accident. A total act of God. Even though I was the victim of it. Yeah. Well, it wasn't your fault this time. I'll forgive you. For real? Yes, but please be careful more next time. I s sure, I swear, it'll never happen again. Thank heaven. For a minute there, I thought she was going to say that having a guy under this roof was too dangerous and I couldn't stay here anymore. But, hmm? Remember, I'm talking to, to taking you at your word. If this was Aki-chan you walked in on, I don't know what would happen to you. <laughs> Ooh. No kidding. If it was Aki-chan... I caught changing the washroom. Uh, just think about it. I feel a shiver. Huh? Mmm. Good morning. You guys are up early. Good. Good morning. Uh, I just woke up a little earlier. Hmm. What? What? What is it? Did something happen? Well, now. Um, Makoto, don't tell her. What is it? Something's up, isn't it? Not at all. Anyways, I'm super hungry. What about you, Makoto? <laughs> I am. Whew. Makoto's not going to wrap me out, but this kind of thing is bad for my heart. <laughs> well, here it, it, it is. Breakfast is done. Oh my. This is rice, miso soup, uh, natto, fried fish. What a traditional Japanese breakfast. It's been so long since we've had one of these. Miso soup is a protein-packed Japanese Breakfast soup, usually made with tofu and seaweed. I love getting that whenever I get sushi. Um, natato is fermented soybeans. Polarized for its extremely gooey and gooey texture and strong taste. If you don't get what fermented means, it's going to smell like a really good cheese. In other words, it's rotten. I mean, well, eh, technically rotten. Because wine is also fermented, beer is fermented, alcoholic drinks are fermented. So it's technically run, but it's technically aging it. It depends on the product itself and how the bacteria interacts with the food. Personally, I'm not going to try it anytime soon. I forgot to buy bread yesterday, but it was a nice... It was nice to do this every once in a while, right? Wow. This is, I guess, she realized I wanted to eat a Japanese-style breakfast yesterday. Hmm. You really forgot to buy it? What? What? Nothing. I just wonder why you didn't tell us to pick it up when we went shopping last night. Uh, I told you. I just forgot. But you checked over the shopping list so carefully. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's it. Silly Aki-chan, I wonder if you did this especially. Uh, I did not. 
I just felt like making it. Really? I thought it was because you didn't have any bread. I didn't have any bread, and I just felt like making it. I carry. C come on, cut it out. Eat it up before it gets cold, okay? Come on, eat up. Hehe. <laughs> So what do you want to do today, huh? Don't say huh, I'm taking... I'm talking about size dating. Oh, oh yeah, that... Let's see, where do I want to go today? Today I want to go... So we've been there already. I know that's the other sister. Hmm... Pretty sure I just went down the line. So I'm gonna go with Kenzie. I have no idea what. I think I'll like to go here. W wow. What? That place is known as a Japanese upper class district. In other words, I'll be showing you around today. Oh man, get your things ready and we'll go. Upper class district. Could that be? This should be fun. So this is today's destination. So this is the place we'll be turning today. Ginseng. Ginseng. Yes, Ginseng is famous in Tokyo as home as many of the high class stores. Wow. The Jin and Ginseng means silver over 200 years ago the, in the Edo period. Ginseng was a place where they minted coins. Hmm. I actually did not know that. That's why it came to be called Ginseng. Oh, I see. So it was full of upper class shops even in the era of the samurai, huh? Not exactly, huh? <coughs> Dumb butt. During that period, the shopping district was primarily next door in Nashibi, which is now a business town. Ginseng itself was more of an artisan town. Really? Then why did they... Then, then when did it take the form we know today? You might know this, but during the era of the samurai, Jap Japan closed its borders to other countries. That lasted uh, until 100 and 50 years ago when the Shogun lost political control as foreign relations began again, people of Japan were terrified. They were shocked to think that such a technological advanced country existed out beyond the sea. 150 years ago was around the time of the American Civil War and the World's Fair in Paris. Yes, saying that Japan worked hard to see that it wouldn't lose its technology technology and influence to those foreign countries. At that time, two great fires sw swept through the Jinsing area. Nearly all the buildings at that time were made of wood, so naturally the whole area was burnt to nothing. It was sad, obviously, but people of the day were determined not to let things end with that. The took to Japan proverb, Wasabi, Wasa, Sa, Wa, Tanjing Fuka Tunasa. It means when bad things happen to you, you make the best of them. The people took those words to heart and used the cultural, culture, and technology of those foreign countries to rebuild ginseng from the ashes. They took the opportunity to develop a new ginseng as the years went by. Before long, department stores and theaters appeared, and people began to flock to it as the cutting edge shopping district in Japan. I see. You're saying Jinxing was the first modern shopping district in the modern area. Something like that. Even now, large shopping districts throughout Japan are referred to 
as the Ginseng of X. They're all named after Tokyo's Ginseng. Wow. Now that she mentions it, the buildings around here do have kind of a retro feel to them. It must be remnants of that area. Ah, there's one more point of interest here. Point of interest? What is that? You see, if you check the map of Tokyo after you get home, but this place, you'll see Jinsing southeast of Tokyo Station, and it feels quite far inland. But 300 years ago, it was a wetland. A wetland here? Are you saying that this place used to be in the ocean? That's right. The ocean used to run up against Jinsing eastern side. It was filled in 300 years ago and used to reclaim used to reclaim the land for a fish for a fish market that became very famous. I didn't know that. When you look at it now, it hardly it's hard to believe that it was ever a coastal land. Right to the east of here, across the Samata River, there is an area known as Takashimri, which is also reclaimed from the ocean. So if Tokyo's shape was changed 400 years ago by reclaiming land from the ocean, you could call it a man-made city. That's about right. It's almost like the city of water, Venice. Heh <laughs> that's right. Long ago, Tokyo was full of canals, which were used for shipping the major majority of goods. Even now, many of those rumor rivers remain as subterranean drainage. When you think about it, I guess Tokyo is a city of water a lot like Venice. Tokyo, a city of water. Anyway, as long as we're here, we should have a look around, Jinseng. Sure. I guess we're going shopping. Jinseng, it looks like such a modern city with all these buildings everywhere. But long ago, it was right up by the ocean, full of canals, full of boats, hauling things everywhere. When you think about it, Tokyo is such an exotic city. Canals, water, yeah. About a hundred years ago when Jensing was striving to become a leading business town, they say just walking around Jensing was a sign of status. What the heck, maybe it's because we're talking about water, but it's only I have to go to the bathroom. It was at the point when they coined the term Jinbura. But it doesn't look like there's any public toilets around here. Oh, you might have heard this before, but Brewer and Jim, Jim Brewer comes to the word Brewer Brewer, Sierra, to walk around aimlessly. Hmm. Hey, what's wrong? Are you listening? Uh, sorry, I just really have to go to the bathroom for a while now. Huh? You've been holding in this whole time? No, well, I... Heh, <laughs> don't worry about it. We can use the bathroom in the department store. Sure, let's do that. Uh, I don't know if I can pay. I don't have any small change. Not even ginseng do they allow people to use toilets. Do they charge people for using toilets? You won't have, need any change. Ah, I see. Yes, I don't think there's any bathrooms in Japan that charge you to use them. But when you have to go, a department store or a supermarket is your best bet. I see, but there's no time for lengthy explanations. I'm gonna... Hit up the toilet in the department store, so wait for me. Take your time. Phew! Yeah, but it really did shock me. I can't believe even department store toilets have an on wash function. And the water in the boys' urinal seemed to flow automatically. Japan puts an amazing amount of effort into their toilets. Sorry, didn't mean to keep you waiting. He didn't, don't worry at all. More importantly, where do you want to go now? Would you like to walk around and sing some more? Mm, let me see, we've been walking around for a while, but this feels a little all out of my league. I know you said it was an upper class district, and the stores are all clearly high class brands. Hmm, I see in that case, let's travel a bit further out, shall we? Sure, that sounds good. In that case, where should we go? I know, over there. Okay, let's check it out. Hey, I'm glad you're excited, but do you even know where we're going? Obviously not, but I know I'm in good hands with you, Mato Koto. Huh? Huh? What's wrong? N nothing. Nothing at all. Anyway, let's go. 
Sure. Well, here we are. This is This is Japan's second tallest building, Tokyo Tower. This is Tokyo Tower? Yes, it's 333 mil meters tall. It was constructed in 1958. So it, it's been a symbol of Tokyo for about 50 years now. It's a tourist spot, but it also but it's also a broadcast tower. Unfortunately, the new broadcast tower they're building in Tokyo Sky Tree has stolen the title of tallest in Japan for it. But I think Tokyo Tower will remain a symbol of Tokyo even so. A symbol of Tokyo, I see. Incidentally, they say the total number of visitors to Tokyo Tower is over six, 16, 160 million. That many? Yes. That's how beloved a building it is. Tokyo Tower, to be honest, I've been wanting to see it myself. Wow, really? Yeah. You see it a lot in Japanese anime movies. True. This is setting for a lot of drama and there are even songs about it. That's right. I've even seen it be destroyed before, but I, I see. So this is Tokyo Tower. What shall we do? Shall we go inside? Yeah, as long as we're here. Let's go in. It. Go in. It. Are you okay, Makoto? Um, yes. The view from the observation deck is amazing. We didn't have any problem with the look down window. After that, I never expected a trap to be lurking in the pat last part of our visit. See, there's a wax museum in the tower. We went in out of curiosity, but it had a creepy atmosphere and in the very end had a wax recreation of medieval European torch devices. Why would you do that? That's stupid. It wasn't obvious that they were fake, but some people just are just weak to that kind of thing. I'm sorry, I didn't think something like that would be in there. No, it's okay. You look a little pale though. Maybe we should go home. Don't worry, I'll be okay after a bit of rest. No way, don't worry about me. Okay? But if we go home, don't worry, okay? I still have lots of time in Japan. So let's call it a day for now. We can look around more tomorrow. Sparrow. Okay, if you insist, I'll go along with you. Okay, let's go home. Ah. Uh, what? Um, I'm sorry. I told you not to worry about it. You really are kind. D don't say that. Thank you. We got home and got some rest. Thankfully, Makoto was feeling more herself again by evening. To tell the truth, I wish we could have spent. I could have spent more time with her. But I'm sure we'll get to walk around again some other another day. For now, I'll just have to make do. Hey, let's eat out for dinner tonight. You don't mean like at a restaurant? Obviously. Did you think I was talking about? Eating bento in a park at night? Right, but why, why do you want to do that? Well, you did come all the way to Japan. You want to eat at especially a restaurant at least once, right? Mm, well, I really like a curry cooking, to be honest. Huh? I mean, it's really good. Yeah, cut it out. Stop joking around. Huh? I'm not, I wasn't joking. <laughs> Aki-chan gets bashful when she's praised. I do not. I am not bashful. Hehe. <laughs> anyway, what do you want to do? If you got a request or for what to eat, you better make it quick. A request? Hmm, let me think. There's a lot of things I, would, I want to eat, but most of those I can get at Japan, Japanese restaurants back in my country. And when I think about it, I get the feeling that dinner a curry makes is close to what Japanese people actually eat every day. That's it. That's what I want. What is it? Did you decide on what you want? Yeah, I want to eat that. What's that? Sushi! Would be my personal thing. Japanese pizza. 
Japanese pizza? Yeah, I heard about it. They say it looks a lot like pizza, but in a different way. Something that looks like pizza, but isn't it? What could it be? Hmm, I wonder what it could be that. That? Yes, we have one in our neighborhood, you know. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Hehe, <laughs> you're on. You'll understand when we get there. I have no idea what's going on here. Is this the place? I see, now I understand. Can you show it to me, please? This is a Japanese pizza restaurant? Yeah, we call it Okonomiyake in Japan. The wheat flour is boiled in water, then mixed with cabbage or pork, or whatever ingredients you like, and fried on top of a hot iron grill. grill. Wow. Some regions even put noodles inside. Here in Tokyo, you can get a regional variety called manjo. But today, we'll be eating standard. Okay, sure. Anyway, let's put in our order. I think I'd like to try the special. Special? Yeah, it's all got. It's got all kinds of toppings inside. Most restaurants have one. So if you're not sure what to get, it's the simplest thing. I see. Then I'll have the special too. Now we fry it up. Huh? You mean it's self-service? Some restaurants are. Some will fry it up for you, but some will let you fry it yourself. Personally, I think it's more fun when you fry it up yourself. I would have to agree. Okay, here we go. <laughs> wow. Once the wheat flour mixes with the water, you mix it with the softened ingredients and it spreads out in a circle on the pan. Then one, once one side fries up, you use the utensil to flip it over. It's a hard skill to master. Really? I guess it does get does take some getting used to. I still don't I still can't get used to it. No matter how I try. Here Aki Chan, you do mine. Okay, what about you? M me? I I think I'd like to try it on my own. Really? Well then watch me first. Hmm, um, I guess it's time. Now slip the special between the pan and the ingredients. And as hard as you can. Ah, yeah. See, you just flip it over. I see. That's, the trick is not to hesitate. Here, try it. Uh, okay. Just flip the spatula underneath. Then as hard as you can. Ah, yeah. Ah. Oh, dear. That didn't work. It really got away from you. Don't worry about it. We can just... It's just caved in a little. You will just have to reshape it. I guess it really is hard to get a hand of it, but it's definitely a lot of fun finding it for yourself, ourselves. Do you think they're cooked through? I think so. Now we add sauce and mayonnaise and sprinkle on the nori and kata shabushi. A nori is dried seaweed and the other one is dried shaved fish. Sounds really good actually. It really adds to the flavor. I just hope the dried fish isn't like um not seaweed. I'm not thinking of jokes. That's what it is. I was thinking of a of a fish caught with the S name. I was like, and you know, it's angel. It's not it's not enough in the beginning. It's nece it's a necessity for it. Wow. Yes, it's all done. That looks really good. Well, frankly, it's make me hungry. Yes, this is okay. this is Japanese pizza. Okay, time to eat. Huh? Wait, you mean we're gonna eat right off the pan? Yeah, it varies by restaurant, but generally speaking, you want to eat, want to leave it on the pan so you can practice. So you're practically panting from the heat. Why not just make it spicy then? Okay, I see. Anyways, ah, uh, ping, ah, uh, hot, ha, ha. Hey, careful not to burn yourself. Go to said that in the first place. It's really hot coming right off the griddle. It's hot as heck, but how is it? Mm, it's great. But the sauce smells so good caking on the pan. It's so, it's got so many toppings inside, but they're all skillfully prepared. It's like nothing I've ever tasted. This isn't like pizza at all. 
Whew. I'm stuffed. 12,000 yen for one. Huh? I wonder if it would be... Would have been cheaper if I gotten the special. If I hadn't gotten the special. Hey, Curry. You want to stop somewhere on the way home? Hmm? I don't think so. I've... I have all my shopping done. What about you? Me? Not especially. Uh... That's it. I could use some money. Is there a bank or something? I... I could make a withdrawal? A bank? Sorry, but all the banks are closed at this hour. Really? Even at eight... Even the ATMs? Most of the ATMs are... In Japan are closed... At night, too. It may be a current perfection... French and measure. That actually makes sense. I see. Ah, but the ATMs in the Kobini are open 24 hours, so you might be able to make a draw of your credit card there. Really? Yeah. By the way, do you have any traveler's checks? Oh yeah, I don't have them with me, but why? Banks are about the only place you can tra cash in your traveler checks, but all the banks are closed by 3 p.m. So if you want to do it, make sure you do it early. Ah, I see. Thank you. That should be okay. Anyway, do you think we could stop by Kobini? Of course. Is that okay, Akari? Sure. Thank goodness I'll be able to get some cash from the Kobini ATM. They have vending machines everywhere, but 24 out. Our ATMs are only in convenience stores. And there are a lot fewer places that take credit cards than I expected. Especially in smaller restaurants. There are a lot of places you can't use them. Japan is a really mysterious country. 